What is going on, guys? It is Big Nick, a.k.a. Nick Hill Kiswani. Yes, that's my real name. Okay, in case you guys wanted to know, in case you guys were being nosy, you know? <laughs> we are back for another video today. Today's video is going to be different. This is actually the most important video that I will ever make in my life. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel down below if you are new if you like christian content and also turn my post notifications on today i want to explain the gospel very simply for people who may be new believers in jesus christ or people who have been following jesus for a while but they still want to hear what the gospel is from this 25 year old guy over here you see when i first got saved and gave my life to jesus christ it took me forever to figure out what the gospel was because i had never had it preached to me i had never heard about jesus christ i had never heard why christians believed in him i had never heard about really god in general i was raised a hindu so what i had to do is you know worship a lot of different gods and i didn't know about salvation i didn't know about repentance and i did not know about sin because that is not taught in how i grew up but glory be to god you know he had given me the wisdom to do research and figure out what the gospel is and i've been saved for about three and a half years now and i have a really good understanding so if you are a new christian you just gave your life to jesus christ or you are thinking about returning back to god i want you to hear this video and hear what the gospel is and hear why it's so important about what jesus did what he did on the cross you see we have a creator our creator is god and god is real and alive as you can clearly see by this amazing lake behind me but there is something that separates us from god and what separates us from god is sin isn't it interesting how the minute a child gains some sort of consciousness they end up rebelling against their parents or being disobedient that's because all of humankind has something in them called the flesh which makes them rebellious towards the ways of god which makes them chase unrighteousness which makes them chase wickedness and iniquity and you see this is what separates us from god because our creator is so holy and he is so pure and the reason why humans deal with sin and the reasons why humans have a flesh is because of the fall of adam and eve in the garden of eden you see god told adam and eve not to eat of the forbidden fruit but they rebelled anyways and when they did that sin entered the world and all of a sudden god's plan for paradise with humankind which was in the garden of eden quickly turned into despair and suffering you see god never created humanity for the option of them going to hell and he never created humanity for the option of them having to go through suffering but when adam and eve rebelled against god sin entered the world and god no longer shared paradise on earth with his creation that's why there's misery and suffering in this world but this was never god's original plan so because adam and eve disobeyed god sin entered the world which means that we've all sinned because we're all from adam and eve thanks guys now i'm just playing i'm sure they're cool people deep down at heart but because of that we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of god just like romans 3 23 says we've all broken god's commandments you see god gave moses 10 commandments and naturally our human fleshly instinct has broken every single commandment everybody's told a lie everybody's used god's name in vain everybody has probably dishonored their parents at one point everyone's probably looked at somebody with lust which is called adultery which was one of the commandments that god specifically said you can't do so we've broken all of these commandments i've only listed four of them there's six other commandments that we've probably broke as well and you see even breaking one commandment committing one sin that alone sentences you to death which is hell you see death is actually separation from god we go through a physical death here on earth but also a spiritual death when the human soul goes to hell the bible says for the wages of of sin is death but the free gift of god is eternal life through christ jesus our lord that's in romans 6 23 so we deserve death for our sin one sin sends you to hell however god came down as a man in human form by the name of jesus christ and he lived a perfect life died and resurrected as a sacrifice to pay the penalty for our sins the bible says in romans 5 8 but god shows his love for us in that while we were yet sinners christ died for us so jesus christ is god that came down as a human being lived that perfect life and took the punishment that you and i deserve for sinning and rebelling against god and because of that now he is at the right hand of the heavenly father and he is enthroned with all authority on heaven and earth given to him this is why we need jesus because our works are not going to get us to heaven the bible says in the book of isaiah that our works are like filthy rags to the lord you cannot get to heaven by being a good person because even if you think you're a good person in your human understanding you have still sinned against god you have broken his commandments but jesus christ lived that perfect life and this was god's love for us that he came down and he knew that we were in this matrix so he walked out the perfect life because there had to be a sacrifice the bible prophesied that this would happen you see way back in the garden of eden god made a promise to satan saying that out of the seed of a woman he would crush the serpent's head god still had plans to make it right even though us as human beings disobeyed him and he did 
Jesus Christ, God in human form, came down here over 2,000 years ago. He took the penalty for our sins. Him dying on the cross is so much more than just a cool story, and he's so much more than just a religious figure. No, he is God. God came down. Maybe you've heard the gospel before. Maybe you know who Jesus Christ is, but maybe you just don't know the power that he really holds. Maybe you don't know the love that he really has for humankind. You see, God says in his word that it's his will that none should perish, but all should have eternal life. God does not want people perishing and going to hell. God never created hell for humankind. Jesus actually says that it was created for the devil and his fallen angels. However, because of this sin in our body, because of this flesh in our body, now hell is an option that humans can abode in. God created heaven for a reason. He wants to have fellowship with you. He wants to be in paradise with you, just like the Garden of Eden. And you can go to heaven. You don't have to go to hell and you don't have to live this life miserable. All you have to do is accept what Jesus Christ did on the cross. It's that simple. The Bible says in Romans 10 9, because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you want to give your life to Jesus Christ today, if you're done chasing the things of this world and if you're done trying to be the God of your own life, I want you to say this prayer with me because this prayer will change your life. When I had prayed to Jesus Christ three years ago and received his Holy Spirit, I felt the love of God so strong, I can no longer deny that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way to God. And if you've been soul searching lately, trying to figure out what the truth is, I'm telling you, the truth is in Jesus Christ. If you want to give your life to Christ right now, pray this prayer with me, and we'll pray together. Father God, I confess to you right now that Jesus is Lord, and I believe that he rose on the third day to pay the penalty for my sins. So right now, God, I'm asking for you to give me your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. And I pray, God, that your Holy Spirit would sanctify me and cleanse me. I pray that your Holy Spirit would guide me into all truth. And from this day forward, I'm choosing to leave behind my sin and I'm choosing to follow you instead. In Jesus' name, amen. If you just prayed that prayer and gave your life to Christ, please let me know in the comments below. I'm telling you guys, this is a beautiful journey. I gave my life to Jesus about three and a half years ago, and every day I wake up with so much joy. Yeah, you will go through trials and tribulations, but be of good cheer because Jesus Christ has overcome the world. Jesus Christ promises to bring us a peace that the world can't provide. All the world knows how to do is produce counterfeit pleasure, but the true pleasure in this life is the love of God through Jesus Christ. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out.